So for problem number one of section 3.3, .3, we're asked to find the global extreme values of the function g of x, which is the polynomial written on the board here, on the interval, closed interval, negative 3 to 2. Now, the first step is to find the critical points, and then we'll evaluate the function at those points. And then we'll also need to check the boundary points of the interval. So we'll look at g of negative 3 and g of 2. We'll compare all those values and see which is the largest and which is the smallest. So the first step is to compute the derivative of g and set it equal to 0. So g prime of x is equal to 12x cubed plus 12x squared uh, minus 24x. And we'll set that equal to 0. Now we can factor, or we can divide uh, each term by 12 and also factor out an x. So that leaves us with x times x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can factor the uh, factor the second part of the product on the left hand side and that will be x plus 2 x minus 1. So this means that this is equal to 0. So this means that uh, x is either equal to 0, minus 2, or 1. So those are our three critical points. So next we just test the, uh, each of the critical points and the endpoints and see uh, which value g, uh, which of those values uh, for which of those values g has the highest uh, output value. So in order to do that, it may be easier to rewrite our function g of x a little bit just by factoring out an x squared. Now I'll probably just make the arithmetic a little bit easier so we won't have to uh, deal with raising anything to the fourth power. So let's start out by evaluating each, uh, g at each of the endpoints. So g of negative 3 be equal to negative 3 squared is 9. And 3 times negative 3 squared is 27. And uh, minus 12 and minus 12. So that's 9 times 27 minus 24, which is uh, 9 times 3, or just 27. All right. Now we'll evaluate g at the right-hand endpoint, which is 2. And that'll give us 2 squared is 4 times uh, 12 plus 8 minus 12. Now the 12s cancel out here, so that just leaves us with 32. All right, now we can evaluate g at each of the critical points. So let's start out with the critical point x equals 0. Now g of x has uh, an x in each term, so evaluating at 0 will just give us an output of 0. And g of minus 2 going to be equal to right, 4 times 3 times negative 2 squared is 12 uh, minus 8 uh, minus 12. Uh, so again the 12s cancel out and this time we're left with minus 32. Right, and finally we have g of 1 is equal to 3 plus 4 minus 12, which is 7 minus 12, or minus 5. So we look back at all the values. We see that the largest value is here, 32. And that happens when our input is 2. And when our input is negative 2, our minimum occurs, minimum value, which is negative 32. So Therefore, we can say that um, g has a maximum 
at 2 and a minimum at negative 2.